What's up, Branches? Hey, it's Daniel. Welcome to our studio. We kind of set it up temporarily because we realize we're going to be coming at you live and uh, coming at you with all kinds of different videos to keep you connected. And this is one of many more to come to keep you connected. And one of the things that we wanted to just kind of walk you through is we made some changes to our website in light of what's going on. Um, and so I just wanted to walk you through some of those things. We're going to be doing a few of those coming up and kind of putting them out there so that you guys can stay connected with us so that we can stay connected with you. Uh, the first thing you'll notice when you go to our website is this banner up here. It says all branches services will be held live on Facebook and Instagram. And that's really until further notice. So once we start meeting in person again, you will know. But we've also on our homepage got a few more resources that we want to and, and kind of connect points that we want to make you aware of. Uh, there is a link directly to Facebook Live. So on Sunday morning when it's time to go at 1030, uh, you can connect directly to Facebook Live. Some of you I know have expressed a, kind of a frustration. You're not quite sure how to do that. We're actually going to walk through exactly how to do that at a later time this week and show you how to do that. So stay tuned. Um, there's also a connection or a, a button here for Instagram Live. That will work for your phone. Instagram Live does not work for your computer. Um, and really, if you're going to pick one, this one's going to be better quality. We just have better, uh, better tools for Facebook Live than we do for Instagram Live. But if you're on the run, on the go, this one totally works. Um, I want to point out a couple more things, too, on this, this uh, homepage. We've got some resources for Branch's kids. We've mentioned a couple times we really don't want our kids to feel disconnected. We want to make sure that we're serving our kids well um, and uh, that we're providing resources and tools for you as a parent to connect your kids to God's word as we're in this kind of crazy online church season. So you can feel free to explore that yourself or you can wait for our video that's going to come out and kind of talk through those resources and how to utilize those at home. Right now, I want to focus on this button right here, this set of resources here that says stay up to date. So if you go to our website and you click on that, it's going to take you to our coronavirus update page. We never thought we'd have to build this page, but here it is, coronavirus update. Um, right at the top is this share a need and serve others. There's a button there. We're going to go over that last, so we're just going to keep going. Um, what we're going to continue to do and are committed to do is to continue to post our daily uh, updates or weekly updates right here, and we're going to keep the, the latest update at the top. So you can see our update from March 16th. You can see our update from March 14th, which kind of started this whole thing. Um, and then if you keep scrolling, there's also this. I want to talk about this section. For many of us, uh, part of our regular Sunday morning kind of routine involves dropping an envelope or dropping giving in a red box or uh, whatever that looks like for you. And we want to make sure that, that we make that really accessible for you because you don't have a red box in your living room. So if you want to continue if you're committed to continuing to partner with us financially, or this is how you're going to be able to do it. You can click this button. That's really just going to take you to the give page. So you can also just go there. But we want to make sure that as, we're, as you're looking for updates and looking how to, how to stay connected to branches through all of this, that that's available. And then at the bottom of the page is some more resources and information. A lot of this right now is just, it's links to more of the stuff that's kind of already there. Um, but keep checking back because as we get more resources, more information, we're going to continue to, to kind of grow that list as needed. Now at this time, I, I, want, I want to go back up to the top of the page, back up to this button right here called Share and Serve. Uh, we're aware that this season brings us a unique opportunity to serve one another, to serve our community, to serve our city, but also to serve those of us within our church who are committed to branches. And we want to make sure to provide those opportunities for us to truly be the church. Right now, uh, it reminds me a lot of the, the early church, the first century church in Acts 2. So when the church first started, and Luke records this about the church, he says, all the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. The first century church truly knew how to care for one another. They knew what it meant to love one another as Christ loved them. And they shared their possessions, they shared their finances, they shared their needs with one another, and they were committed and willing to serve each other through the hard times. While right now times are maybe more uncertain than ever, the first century church was also living in a very uncertain time. And they got through it 
by leaning into one another, by supporting one another, by caring for another, one another genuinely, authentically, and regularly. And so we've set up actually a tool for both those of us who are in need, and, and, and you may not be in need right now, and that's fine, but we don't know what's happening in the coming weeks, in the coming months, and there may be needs in your life and in your family that pop up. There may be needs in your community. There may be needs in your family, your extended family that pop up, and we wanted to provide a spot for you to share those needs. There's also those of us in this season right now who are looking for something to do. You're, you're home from work or you're working from home or, or, or whatever, or your kids are restless and they need something to do. And you may be looking for an opportunity to fulfill a need, to serve others. And so again, we wanted to create an opportunity and a spot for all of us to share our needs and, and, and kind of sign up and volunteer to serve the needs. So if you, uh, if you are there, go ahead and click that button and what's gonna happen is you're gonna pop up to this form. This form already knows that it's me, um, and uh, you can put in your phone number if we don't already have it. Uh, so put that in there so we can connect with you. And this, it starts off just by telling us, tell us why you're here. Are you here to share a need? And again, that can be a need that's yours, or it can be a need that you're just aware of in the community. Or are you here to serve others? So if you click this and, and you select to share a need, um, is this need for you or a friend? You can answer that um, in, in either one of them. Tell us about the needs that are there. If you click on financial support or groceries or child care, there's some other uh, questions that are related to those specific selections that we're going to ask you to go ahead and, uh, and fill out um, so that we can be more aware of that. And then same thing will happen too if you click to serve others. Uh, there'll be some other questions that pop up and you can select both as, as well. You can say, hey, I got some needs, but I'm also willing to serve others. And so when this gets filled out, we're made aware of it. And this is going to help us connect you to people who are in need or connect you to people who can help carry the burden and, and fulfill a need that is very real and very, very true to you in this season. So once again, I want to make sure, we want to make sure that we stay connected, that we don't go through this season alone, that we don't feel alone, that we don't feel disconnected, even though in many ways, physically, we are disconnected. We want to make sure that we're creating community, that we're continuing to be an authentic community following Jesus, that we're continuing to build a church that we can bring our friends to. And so this is just one of the many tools. And, and like I said, we're going to continue just kind of helping you navigate this because we recognize that there are many of us who are, th this whole thing is foreign. Uh, honestly, this whole situation is foreign to all of us. And so we want to remove barriers, connect people, and, and make sure that we're walking through this thing together as a church, as a community. So if you are in need, if you know someone who's in need, if you're restless and you want to fulfill a need, I, I want to invite you personally to go to our website, go to uh, our, our update page, and click that button and fill out that form, and someone will be in connection with you. If, if uh, one of the things that you want to volunteer for is coordinating with, with these, all of these needs and, and all of these service opportunities, go ahead and fill out that form and put that in the other. Uh, we're going to need to band together and love each other well through all of this. The hope of the world is Jesus. And Jesus lives in me and Jesus lives in you. So let's be the hope of the world by supporting one another out of the love that we have for Jesus. Love you guys.